This might, might sound like stating the obvious to some people, but others may not know um, the navigation on YouTube. Um, so this would be the view that most of you see most of the time. So obviously what you see is my latest videos most of the time. But a lot of time you may not be interested in specific things. For example, maybe you don't want to know about the Raspberry Pi. Um, you don't want to know about this one. You're only after the Philippine stuff. You can actually just go to playlists. If the channel will actually update. What is this doing? There we go. Um, and they're split down into different playlists, you see. So you got Philippines IT and computers, Philippines health, stuff about the van, stuff about business, building a house, Cebu like videos, and there's another 30 categories. Um, politics, taking a partner aboard, travel tips, days out, reviews. So you can break it down into more specific areas but also, if you want to look after, look at the older stuff, this will actually help categorize it into specific things. So, for example, say you want to know about the stuff I've done relating to construction, you just go for building a house in the Philippines, and there's seven videos in there. And Philippines business, there's 13 videos here. The call center, there's 25. So you can move to specific niches within the channel. Because um, I know my channel's quite broad compared to a lot of... Because most other people stick to one thing. Uh, for example, they'd only cover talking about the Philippines. But what I try and do is actually diversify um, because I could talk about the Philippines all day long. But like the business stuff, it's worth saying, look, there is ideas there. You can do that. Um, it's to try and broaden people's opportunities and chances to get to the Philippines or wherever they want to go or even just make a bit more money or change change their sp uh, perspective. Because, I mean, I think... Where's my other one? There should be one down here that's... Uh, oh, there's more channels further down. Um, there's ones relating to positivity, cycling, Scotland... Uh, Learn Bisaya, uh, for our work week. Living in the Philippines, which is down here, should be near the top actually, because it's got over 600 videos in there. Uh, rides on the motorbike around the Philippines. And productivity, these are positive stuff. So there's a lot of stuff in there um, you may not have noticed before, because I know a lot of people just click on the latest videos and they don't actually go over the older stuff. but for life in the Philippines, I recommend looking around because there's a lot of stuff in there. I mean, like I said, I mean, the Philippines videos alone is 656. But the thing with the living in the Philippines videos, it's all things clumped together. That is the main one. Uh, so you will find things like uh, the con constructing a house and everything inside the living in the Philippines one. But it, let, let's click on that just so you can see how it's easier to browse as well. Do, 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 do. Okay, so you can see you can actually scroll down and look at all the different videos, all the titles. So it's an easier way to look at specific things. Um, there's a search in here as well, so you can actually search inside that. Uh, well, that's actually searching the channel. But I just wanted to make people aware that this stuff is there. Um, you can go over some of the older stuff because one of the things about the Philippines, it doesn't change a lot. Stuff I was doing in 2007 has not changed much. There was something uh, yesterday relating to the driving licenses. There's been a slight change in that. But the thing is, if we're discussing it, at least we're getting the information out there. And then somebody can go, hang on, that's changed. But the problem you get with Philippines and bureaucracy is those little bits do change. You know, you'll get... Um, slight changes on how to do an annual report or how to do your um, tourist visa where one minute it's just filling a form and off you go and next minute they want a f form copy your passport and other bits and pieces those things are important but if the videos are there people can update them if you know something new put them on there i am 
the whole point of this is that it's to help and collaborate information. I don't do it for my benefit. I've already been to the Philippines, but I do it for everyone else's benefit. This is why I go through this all the time and actually say, look, you might find this useful. You might find this important. Um, have a think about this. That's why I do it. It's all about collaboration. It's about working together. Um, what else have we got here? So we got that. What else can we do? Uh, they've got discussions, da da da. But that's the main bits. Um, and now you may actually find it a bit easier to navigate the channel. But like I said, if you've got specific things you're looking for, say like build, let's just put plumbing in, not even building a house, uh, just specific to plumbing. Now you probably notice my videos are a little, see, I've got end on plumbing. That is a bit strange because I do actually have some stuff on plumbing. I'll have to have a look for that um, because I've discussed it in videos. Obviously, I haven't put the uh, keyword in there or the um, tags. Um, I wonder if it's under pipe. Let's try pipe. That's uh, hydroponics. There's something to do with piping in there, tiling. That's a bit random on some of those, but they, they help you. you get the idea. Um, if there's specific information you're looking for, have a look there. If it's not there, message me. Just send me a private message. Um, you can send it to my email if you want, which is matt, M-A-T-T, -T, underscore, Wilkie, which is W-I-L-K-I-E, as written up here. Um, matt, underscore, Wilkie, at hotmail dot co dot uk that's my main one i i use that a lot so i normally give you a response within an hour but hope you found it useful um because not just for my channel but for other channels because i know some people they only see the new stuff um but i know some people are interested in things like the uh, raspberry pi stuff so you can actually go to that playlist hang on a minute my internet's slow today, I don't know why. Let's go to the playlists. I just want to show you how it's laid out because it, things like the Raspberry Pi one is actually in order um, from start. So you you know it's structured that way. So it's easier to actually follow it. Uh, Vlogging for beginners will do actually. That, that's a similar structure. You know, it starts at number one going up. So there you go. you got one, two, three, four, part one, part two, part three. So it's all structured, but let's just click on a video. Because it should give me the playlist on the right-hand side here, you see. I'll just press pause on that because I don't really want to talk over myself. But there you go. So you've got a full playlist of all my videos one after the other as well. So you can actually sit there and go, right, seen that, seen that, seen that, seen that. And I know some people will find this useful, especially if you're doing something where I do some bits of training or bits of advice on specific things, um, to follow it one after the other because they're in order. All right, thanks for watching. And if you know how to do this already, I apologize for wasting your time. Well, you may have found something new that you hadn't seen before. All right, thanks for watching.